Welcome to Culture Alley Spanish. Hola, this is Español Lesson 18. Let's start by going over some of the phrases that you learned in the last lesson again. Time translates to hora. The time of the day will translate to la hora del día or la hora. Do you remember that of the is translated to de el, which becomes del on contraction? Great! In the last lesson, we learned how to ask and tell time. So, let's revise the translation of a.m. and p.m. A.m. translates to de la mañana, whereas p.m. becomes de la tarde or de la noche. Good! Let's have a look at how we tell what time it is. It's one o'clock translates to es la una. It's one a.m. becomes es la una de la mañana. It's two p.m. becomes son las dos de la tarde. It's nine p.m. is translated as son las nueve de la noche. At 1.30 is a la una y media. It's 2.15 becomes son las dos y cuarto. And it's 4.45 translates to son las cinco menos cuarto. Very good. Today we will learn about telling the days of the week and using them in conversations. An important part of daily conversations is being able to express what day it is. Today we will learn some expressions to help us communicate what day of the week it is and use days of the week in conversations. Can you recall the expressions of time we learned in the last lesson? Today translates to hoy. Tomorrow becomes mañana. Yesterday is ayer. Great! Now let's learn to ask what day is it. What day is it today will translate to que día es hoy. Where what translates to que, day translates to día, and is today translates to es hoy. So can you try asking what day is it today yourself? It is called... ¿Qué día es hoy? Very good. Note that we always use ser in expressions of time. ¿Qué día es hoy? Is usually asked if someone forgets what day of the week it is. Let's learn to respond to it by learning the days of the week. We will say, today is, and then the day of the week. Or, hoy es, followed by the Spanish translation for the day that it is. Our conversation is incomplete if we don't know the days of the week. Let's have a look at the days of the week. Monday translates to lunes. Try that, please. Lunes. Tuesday becomes martes. Can you say that? Martes. Wednesday is miércoles. Say that, please. Miércoles. Thursday will become jueves. Try that. Jueves. Friday is translated as viernes. Saturday is sábado or sábados. Try saying that. Sábado or sábados, where sábados is the plural form of Saturday. Good. Finally, Sunday translates to domingo in singular form and domingos in plural form. Say that, please. Domingo or domingos, where domingos is used to indicate Sundays. For weekdays, the plural form is the same as the singular form, like it's lunes for both Monday and Mondays. Same is the case for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday.
Very good. So remember, only Saturday and Sunday have different singular and plural forms. That is, sábado for Saturday and sábados for Saturdays. Similarly, domingo and domingos for Sunday or Sundays, respectively. Other than these, the plural forms of all the other days of the week are the same as their singular form. For example, Monday is lunes, and Mondays will also be lunes. An important thing to note here is that the Spanish calendar always starts with Monday or lunes and not with Sunday. Also, the names of the days of the week are never capitalized in Spanish unless they come in the beginning of a sentence as the first word. So remember these two differences. All right, now it's quiz time. How will we translate, today is Monday? Will we say, hoy está lunes? Or, hoy es lunes? Or, will it be, hoy es lunes? Today is Monday translates to hoy es lunes. Did you get that right? Remember that we used es and not esta as expressions of time always use forms of ser. How do we say today is Wednesday? Do we say hoy es jueves? Or hoy es martes? Or hoy es miércoles. The correct answer is hoy es miércoles. Hope you got that correct. Can you translate what day is it tomorrow? Your first option is que día es hoy. The second option is cuál día es mañana. And the third option is ¿Qué día es mañana? Think, think. What day is it tomorrow translates to ¿Qué día es mañana? Where tomorrow means mañana. Excellent. Now try tomorrow is Saturday. Will it be mañana es domingo? Or Mañana es sábado or mañana es sábados. Tomorrow is Saturday translates to mañana es sábado. Good. How will you translate tomorrow is Friday? Will it be mañana es viernes or mañana es vierne? Or will it be, mañana es martes? The correct answer is, mañana es viernes. Did you get that right? Did you notice that mañana es vierne would have been wrong as Friday translates to viernes in both singular and plural forms? Great! All right, let's now try using the days of the week in conversations. Let's look at two scenarios. So imagine if we have to say, I'm not dancing on Saturday. The situation here refers to a particular Saturday. However, if somebody says, I don't study on Saturdays, the situation refers to all Saturdays. The translations of these two will be different, and the difference lies in the translation of the word on in these sentences. We use el to express on when referring to a particular day of the week and los to express on when the action occurs repeatedly. Let's now translate both the sentences we just saw. I'm not dancing on Saturday translates to no bailo el sábado. Can you try that yourself? It is no bailo El sábado. So for a particular Saturday, on Saturday translates to el sábado. One more time. El sábado. Good. 
Now looking at the second scenario, I don't study on Saturdays is translated as no estudio los sábados. Did you notice the difference? On Saturdays means all Saturdays or Saturdays in general and doesn't refer to a particular Saturday. Therefore, on Saturdays gets translated to los sábados. And our sentence, I don't study on Saturdays, becomes no estudio los sábados, where I don't study translates to no estudio, and on Saturdays becomes los sábados. Try saying that. No estudio los sábados. Very good. Let's look at some more quizzes. How will you say my father works on Tuesdays? Will you say it as mi padre trabaja el marte? Or mi padre trabaja los martes? Or mi padre trabaja el martes? My father works on Tuesdays becomes mi padre trabaja Los martes. Tuesdays is martes, and since we are referring to all Tuesdays, we translate on Tuesdays as los martes. Great! How will you translate, I'm not studying on Sunday? Will it be, no estudio el domingo, or, no estudio los domingos, or will it be, no estudio el domingos. The correct answer is no estudio el domingo. Since we were referring to a particular Sunday, we use el domingo. Let's have a look at the translation of the days of the week again. Monday translates to lunes. Tuesday becomes Martes. Wednesday is miércoles. Thursday will be jueves. Friday is translated as viernes. Saturday is sábado or sábados. And Sunday becomes domingo or domingos. Note that the plural form will be the same for all the days of the week except Saturday or Sunday. All right, it's time for the culture leaf of the day. The compadre, which literally means co-father or co-parent, is the relationship between the parents and godparents of a child and is an important bond that originates when a child is baptized in Spanish and Latin American families. A godparent in many denominations of Christianity is someone who sponsors the child's baptism, a ceremony largely for the spiritual purification and social initiation of infants. The modern view of a godparent tends to be an individual chosen by the parents to take an interest in the child's upbringing and personal development. In the next lesson, we will learn about telling dates. Hope you enjoyed your lesson today. See you at the alley for the next one.